Uh oh. Okay, I'm gonna meme again. Somebody else said they opened Ulamog and forced it earlier. I think I'm gonna take Ulamog as well. It's just... And if I see, like, Mirari's Wake, I have to slam it. <laughs> Dude, take the Growth Spiral now. Just take every ramp card I see. Arkbo into Ulamog. Lazav the Ulamog. Alright. The blue-green nummies. Carry added, perhaps? Blue-green nummies. Oh man, staggering insight Ulamog combo. You can still copy it and have it fight. What is this cube? I think it's just called Arena Cube. Is Ilharg in the cube? It might be, yeah. What are the best picks? No, I doubt Mirai's Wake is the best pick. Kyora, okay. On color, ramps, and draws cards. Got a theme going on here. I don't think lands are ever a bad first pick in cube. Yeah, we've seen Uro in one of the drafts before. I have not seen seen Dream Trawler. This is maybe a little bit too meme -y. I think I'm just going to take the Neutralize. Counters and Cycles. Good. Dum, 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 dum. Incubation Druid! This is actually going really freaking well, isn't it? That's a great start to an Ulamog. Oh man, Escape to the Wilds, Beanstalk Giant, or we could take Patient Rebuilding. I kind of like taking Patient uh, I like taking Patient Rebuilding here as a not only a win con, but a good way to draw extra cards. I think I take the, the Rebuilding over the Bean. What's up, Jazz1? Thank you for the four months. You know what Castle Garenbrig does, don't you? Ramps to Ulamog. Endray's Forerunners is probably like a fine backup Crater Hoof Behemoth. Eh, eh, maybe not. It might just be better to take the castle. But this does give Trample, unlike uh, Finale. Yeah, but giving a Mana Dork plus 2 plus 2, like, unless you have 10 Mana Dorks, this doesn't really do all that much. Like, I'm fine taking it, but it's it's not Crater Hoof level. I'm going to regret not taking the castle. Crater Hoof makes, like, any 2 or 3 creatures lethal. And raise 4 runners, the opponent can just be like, okay, I take 10. Doesn't castle add, like, one mana? Yeah, but it's a land, so it's kind of free. Greater Hoof does it all. Plus X, plus X, and Trample. Like, End Race Forerunners is always just plus two, plus two. Finale never goes Trample. Yeah. Cubes are always Phantom. Hey, Fidux, thanks for the four months. There you go with the Prime. Nice. Blast Zone, that's probably good too. Sandbar, easy. Or Niv. Ooh. Man, we got the sandbar and the thicket. Not bad. Okay. Well, we're probably going to take one of these multicolored cards here. I think I'm going to jam the Ashiok. No, I'm going to take Ashiok over Melody. It's an easy splash. I think Ashiok's better than Polychronos. 
Godzilla. Mm? Oh. <laughs> This is not the best Galta deck. I'll take it though, but... You don't want mana dorks with Galta. You need cheap fat cards with Galta. You need your Steel Leaf champions, your... I mean, I guess something like, uh, what's it called? Gem Razor, you know? That type of thing. Nullhide Ferex, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, if I have Ulamog out, then I'm already winning that game, aren't I? Passing Golos here, but Cavalier is exactly the card we're looking for. It's a great pickup. It ramps, it's big, it's not too expensive. Uh oh, we could do the Lotus Field. We have the uh, Cura. We could do the Lotus Field on Tappy Tappy. I think I'm going to do that over Ooze. I've got enough top end already. Well, darn it. There's that. Okay. I already have the uh, Temple of Enlightenment. I'm, I might be cutting the Forerunners and the Galta. Honestly. What's up, Dunstar? Thank you for the three months. Is the Ashiok Splash dead? Not necessarily. Still plenty of time to get more fixing. Open the wild card chest? No. It is not large enough. I've accidentally opened it multiple times already. Let's take Omen here. Although Indatha Triome is a green land that fixes for both Ashiok and for Wake. But I think I want the Omen. Because I guess Omen does the same thing. I think I take the scat here over the arch. I don't think I want sprite. We'll see about the Ashiok. So many ads. Bye bye. Bye bye, Thalo. Bye bye. I mean, I knew I should have taken the castle. Green blue land is fine here. Haven't tried fun police. No, you do not keep the cards. Idyllic tutor, tutor for Mirari's Wake or Patient Rebuilding. Not crazy. Ooh, there's the goalie Oli. Goalie Oli ramps. And there's like a small possibility of activating it. Oh yeah, with the Guild Globe too. Alright. No, we don't want the portal. There's the finale. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm not going to not take it. I've got the Mirari's Wake for it, and if we finale Ulamog, it's, it's basically a one-shot because of the Exile 20. Dryad, oh my god, there we go. I think I'm just slamming the Dryad. Sorry, Skittering. Gilded Lotus? Or Chromatic Lantern. I feel like I'd rather have Lantern than Lotus, even though Lotus is bigger ramp. Is that is that wrong? It also fixes for Golos. I'm doing it. Taking Lantern. Uh-oh. Kinnon now. Oh yeah, we're gonna take Kinnon over any of those. Kinnon can hit the... Uh, Ulamog, and it makes, like, all of my mana dorks tap for double. 
Temple of Mystery here versus actually Frilled Mystic. Wouldn't be an awful play. Blossoming Sand's also pretty good. I think I'd rather have the on color with the scry. Can we play that? Karn's Temporal Sundering? Do I have enough legendaries? I have like four? I have Kinnon, Kyora, Golos, Ulamog? Is that too greedy? Do I just want to take one of these lands? Like the Catacomb? I think we're running the Ashiok now. Oh, whoa, no, no, no! Oh, did I auto pick? Oh, it took, okay, it took the Catacomb. Oh, I was not paying attention at the time. Phew! Uh, Vanifar is awful here. Maybe just take Cycling Wilt or Atris or Guard Mage. Actually, we could take any number of cards here. Yeah, I think I'm okay with the Guard Mage. There it is. There's a Grow from the Ashes. More Ramp and Pamp. Callus isn't awful. I mean, I'm probably going to run one of these top end cards. I don't think it's Galta, but it might be the end race. It's not going to be like super great in the deck. It'll be fine. So I'll just take this for fixing. Oh, we got the Lotus back. Too many playables? And the White Temple, nice. All right, can cut the Guild Globe, that's filler. I guess I'll just go 16 lands or whatever. Lotus means Citadel? Uh, probably not Citadel. Yo, Windy! Thank you for the three months. <sighs> I wonder if I should still play the Galta. Probably don't need it. I think we're going to try running the field. We definitely want the Triome, the Temple, the Temple, the Catacomb, the Temple. I'm actually not sure if I want to run the Cycling Lands, though. I don't want to run too many tap lands, and if you look at it, we're already running five lands at ETB tapped. So, I think I'm going to not run the Cycling. And I don't think I'm going to run any of the Colorless lands. So we only need like one planes for the Grow from the Ashes and Omen of the Hunt. Uh, we do need some number of islands. Let's start with three. One swamp. And then the rest are forests. And eight. Yeah, that looks good. All right, let's go. Uh, I think the dinosaur lands were only for the open. It is best of one. I am running 16 land. I'm just going to lead with Triome here. We don't need to scry yet. We can scry next turn, but I don't want to lead on double temple since we're going to be shuffling in a moment anyways. So if I bottom something, I don't really want to... Uh... Um... Shuffle it back. I did play the OG Pokemon, yeah. I don't think we need that. Since we have Dryad. I could just go Swamp, Dryad, Temple next turn. Yeah, we can do that. I have neutralized, I don't need scat. And they played Dawn of Hope, so they might not be too heavily creature based. Emery! Oh baby. Contempt, Ugin, land, they did hit a golden 
egg though. We don't need planes. Let's grab another forest here. And then we go forest, island, hold up, neutralize. Next turn we can go guard mage plus hold up, neutralize. We have a lot of mana. We don't have anything to do with it currently, but I'm not concerned yet as it's still early in the game. See, look how it's trying to auto-tap. It's trying to steal all of my blue. Oh wait, I have a Dryad. What am I talking about? It doesn't matter. <laughs> hey chat, shut up. Chat, shut up. I mean, it does matter if they kill the Dryad, yes, but... Oh! <laughs> okay, we have something to look forward to. Look at this combo! Look at this egg Emery Dawn of Hope combo. Deputy of Detention. I don't even think I care about that. In fact, if they take any of my non-Dryad creatures, I assume they're gonna take the Dryad, but it doesn't really matter. I was gonna say, if they take either of these, I don't know why they would take them, but they, we then kill the deputy or, yeah, we get it back. That's a good draw. Oh! Ooh! Well, I think I go Druid here. Because we can level up end of turn and then Ulamog. And we're still holding up counter. This is nice. Just tap out and dirtle, OP. I'm a hungry Utamog. If we win this match, or this game, same thing, this deck will have more... Or rather, the same amount of wins as the previous two decks. <laughs> Hello, well. Nice! They got the globe and the egg with the emery. Alright, no responses, please. Just let it happen. Excellent. It is time. Yo, Toxic Gaming, they give you the five months. Shepherd of the Flock. Oh, you can return lands with Shepherd! They still need to do something to Ulamog here. Alright, alright, alright! Fair enough. We still got a lot of action going on next turn with Boon and Natu or Neutralize. Alright, alright, alright! Alright! I see you! I see you, OP. I have 11 mana. I still think I want a boon here. We could just Ash Yawk and hold up counter, though. I like this. 
bounce the token, attack with the Incubation Druid. And since we bounce a token, they just have to discard one of their cards. Okay, we get back our Dryad. Feeling good, like I should. Took a walk around in the neighborhood. What are they doing? I feel like I might just actually lose the Ashiok now. We don't even need it. We'd rather have the card draw and the neutralize, and now that they've minus with Ashiok, we can just attack and kill it. Still going for that egg life value, huh? They have definitely drawn a lot of cards. This is round one. Fight. Ritual of Soot. Alright. We would be left with the guild mage, or the guard mage, but we definitely still want to keep our incubation druid. It does. <laughs> Finale Forerunners, you did it, Kenji! Hey, Tamale! Wait a minute, does my deck actually have a way to deal with that? I might not actually be able to deal with that. Because the Ashiok's gone, and the Ulamog's gone. Oh my god, I might just- I might actually just be dead to that. Oh no, I cannot actually beat that card. Oh no. I, it, all, those cards are exiled. It doesn't matter. They will eventually just deck me. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I die. That's insane. Rebuilding doesn't do anything. They cannot, they literally cannot lose the game. I will end up decking eventually. We just looked at our deck. We know there's nothing left.
<laughs> I cast Ulamog and I died. Oh, GG's. Hi, Freya. That's pretty good, though. I mean, I have counters, like, I have Essence Scatter, I have Neutralize, I have Ulamog, and I have Ashiok. It's just that I, uh, had already lost Ashiok and Ulamog permanently, and I didn't have a counter. I don't think we need that. I enjoyed the game still, even if it was a hilarious loss. <laughs> well, I did say if and when. Sure, I'll counter this. Just looking for a land here. I am going to cycle the boon EOT. The Kraken! Holy smokes. If I draw an untapped land, I get to go Gilded Lotus into one of my other five drops. Holy moly. Wait, so I would have... So I could go... No. Oh, wait, it only adds one more. Oh, sorry, it doesn't double. My mistake. For some reason, I thought it doubled. Rip. Rip. <laughs> well, now that play looks a lot worse. Yeah, Mirari's Wake doubles the lands, but Kinnon only adds one extra. I think I'm just going to activate the Kinnon next turn. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Eleven mana. Wait. No, I don't want to do that. Golos plus Axiok looks a lot better. Might just want to bounce the Kraken and let the dungeon guys hit. Buy some time. Golos, I'll start activating. Kinnon. Kinnon's not anything like Golos is. Freya, what are you doing? Dang, all right, all right, all right. Did they bounce? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Just needs that black. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, 
do we want to scry first? No. In case we hit a land or whatever, I don't think we need to. Okay. That's a plan. Did I want to do I want to stop on my upkeep? I think so, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Chat chat said it too. Oh man, Flicker Dream Eater or Dungeon Geist. They still have way too many flyers. This doesn't give haste, right? No. It says until the end of the turn, though, so I, I the reason I would upkeep Golos is to, uh, is so that I could get the uh, Ulamog off the Golos trigger instead. So I think I have to get rid of the Thassa. And I guess the Dream Eater. I mean, Sky Sovereign's pretty annoying as well. It's not about the Devotion, though. It's about the tapping and the flickering. I draw a card. All right, I mean... This gives Trample. We can even untap our Kinnon if we need to. If they equip and poop out, that's 8 damage. They would gain 4 life, go to 28. Uh, <clears throat> no, they're at 22. So one, one attack from the Ulamog doesn't kill them. Correct. Finale gives haste. Craterhoof and End Rays do not. So they're not equipping the spear. What does that mean? I have so much mana here, though. Oh, hit a neutralize, sucker! All right, I guess you're probably gonna lose then. Patient rebuilding with Ulamog also kills them. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I have to make sure I don't deck myself. Oh wait, you're right. That is my upkeep. 
my mistake there. And this is neither neither of these are target player. Wait, this might not even be lethal. No, it's 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 lethal. Shoot, I was talking about untapping the Kinnon. I forgot to do that. But this is too over lethal. Wow, I almost punted. Oh yeah, why did I untap Gilded Lotus? I forgot. I have the uh, what's it, the Marari's Wake now. So actually, untapping the Lotus Field was more. Holy smokes. Wow. If they had... Oh my god. If they had bounced on their turn or before I activated, they won the game. Wow, 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 wow. We got lucky they waited. We got lucky we hit the counter too. That uh, was already like pre-bought or whatever. <laughs> Maybe, but... That's why it's good to refrigerate it, too. I know you draft cube with real players, but can you still play the games whenever you want? Uh, until cube goes down. Is that a week or two or something? Da -na 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 -na. Cat. What are you doing, kitty cat? Apparently somebody has a question for you in chat. That's what they said. Uh-oh. Search for his Kanta. Can't win. You know what? I think the opponent might have like a stone coil serpent in their hand. Right, Marai's Wake doesn't double either, sorry. Yeah, Mana Flare and uh, Heartbeat do. But... The reason I knew they had that is because they maintained priority after playing a land and playing a spell and tapping out, so they had to have something that they could do with zero mana. And I'm pretty sure this is the only thing that it could be. So. Six mana. Nice, resolved. One more land chat, that's all we need. Versus a mana screwed opponent, I think the- oh wait, I guess they're not mana screwed. Okay, fine. I keep my kinnin! How dare you. Ooh! <laughs> Oh, game plan still active, baby. Utamog. What you gonna do with two mountains, buddy? Alright, 
if you want to draw more cards, I'm all for it. Jesus. Jesus! I'm one mana short there. Yeah, I'll just end the game instead of getting cute. What a hand. Damn, we're on the draw, though. Makes it a little bit worse, but still spicy as hell. Oh! We're playing against the enchantment deck now. Is Ulamog pick one, pack one worthy? I picked it, pack one. Pick one, pack one. I don't mean I don't know if that means it absolutely is, but it's a fun card. It is human draft, yeah. Again, if anybody hasn't logged on to MTG Arena yet, you can play one cube draft for free. I played untapped lands because I'm holding up scatter here in case they play another creature. Pretty good. Lotus into Dryad into double land scries. Feels like a card I want. And then we're just not gonna play the land. How? Uh, if you just join the event, the very top it gives you the very top option. Oh man, Murmuring Mystic with Mentor of the Meek. That is a pop-off. Hopefully they don't just immediately, like, O-ring my patient rebuilding. Okay. That's fine. Let's see if they mill me. They milled two lands! Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. My turn to mill you. Oh, we didn't hit a single land! And then we drew a land! Boo! Rigged! No! Why are you... What is this auto tapper with my incub? What a joke. Do I want a 5 7 attacker? No, I think I'll tap it. That's fine. It's fine. I'll just tap it. That's fine. That's been an issue with incubation druid since like day one. I mean, I should have paid a little bit more attention. That's probably on me. <sighs> that that that's happened with incubation and druid from the very start so well okay it's on arena but i should know better Four, five, six, seven, eight. So they probably still. Have oh yeah. Mill yourself faster. <laughs> I'm at sixteen lands. Give me some land. Come on. <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> Come on. Ay, ay, ay. My patient rebuilding has, a, has been a 5 mana mill 6 right now. I know, but I want to draw spells. That 
is slightly interesting. They must have a counter in their hand. I'm still going to hold it, though. Yes, she was! <sighs> Freya has been getting into the habit of jumping on the kitchen counters lately. We've been trying to trying to stop her. Twelve cards left in their deck. I've been using tinfoil at night, but I don't want to leave it up in the middle of the day. She doesn't do it at night when I put up the tinfoil. Or if she does, she like, carefully goes around it. Look at this! It's trying to debate me again. Wolf King! Thank you for that three months. You need a starter one, two, or three. I always choose the Pokeball in the top right for randomizations. Okay, bye. Time for a beer. Sounds delicious. I don't really care if they draw some extra cards with Mentor. I'd rather tax their manas. They're gonna get milled out if they overdraw. We milled a bunch of enchantments already. We milled uh, Typhoon, Patient Rebuilding, uh, Conquers. That would be a little bit unfortunate if they have a Thassa's Oracle. They did have Thassa. Or sorry, not Thassa, Jace. So it's not out of the realm of possibilities. And I've already used my Scatter. I mean, again, we do have Neutralize open. But if they have Oracle into counter, that's a yikes. Jack the Mind Sculptor. Thank you for the 38 months. Probably due for some lands here. All right, we did hit two lands. Mm, it's not that close to lethal. Okay. Well, I'm really happy they're using that on a growth spiral. Okay, maybe they were just conceding. <laughs> so it turns out they probably don't have Oracle in their deck, would be my guess. Not the good hand. On the draw though, but good hand. Uh-oh, red rocks me? It is. Okay, this might not be an easy matchup. Especially on the draw. Take three. Don't really mind if they kill this. And I'll definitely block Banneret with Kinnon if they give me the opportunity the following turn. That's fine for now. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't know if we're going to get to Ashiok in time. If they just play some random creature, then we have a good chance, because we could go Lotus into Ashiok next turn. Alright. I mean, I'm taking five damage here. I can't even Ashiok next turn anymore unless I draw a black source. Untapped. Alright, probably dead. Kenji, why you no be on the play? That's such a big difference this game. Yeah, it's just game over, basically. The punt was dying, losing the die roll for sure. <laughs> I mean, even if we didn't lose the die roll, it was going to be a hard game to win. We're dead on board. We need them to really mess up. Okay. They didn't just kill me. If they'd attacked with everything, Banneret pumps the Phoenix, and then Phoenix pumps itself. Wait a minute. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Am I going to be one short of killing them? No, I'm a little bit short of killing them. Oh! I'm like three short of killing them. Ah! Oh! It, it doesn't give the creatures haste. Oh wait! It does! Oh, we do win! Never mind! Wait, why didn't I think this didn't give haste? We do win. <laughs> oh! It doesn't matter which one we get, Ulamog or, uh... <laughs> Sorry. Ah. Wow, 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 wow! Well, again, the opponent missed lethal. If they pump up their banneret and attack, they mentor onto the phoenix, and then they pump the phoenix, they had exactly seven on me, so... This is... People have been calling it Historic Cube. That's a pretty accurate description. On the draw again! What are you doing with your life? God damn it! Alright, if we could find one of our two drops to ramp, that would be great. That counts if I draw an island! Ah! I think I bottomed that. I think I bottom that and hope to draw one of my mana dorks or an island. It enters tapped, and I have Omen on turn three anyways, so. Right, I will cycle this in case we draw another tapped land here. Alright, turn three Omen, turn four Cavalier is not an awful curve. The counters are they holding in their hand? Oh, <gasps> baby shark! Do, 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 do. Was my Mirari's wake. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I already had the blue in hand. Do 
can Let's see. Well, maybe they attack into Cavalier. Green creatures with reach that aren't spiders. Hanged Executioner. Oh, actually, we want a Golos here first. Get a red source or our Lotus Field or something, yeah. And then we can go Island. Oh, wait, I tapped wrong! I was going to be able to grow Spiral if I had tapped correctly. Wow, I might have actually been able to cast Ulamog next turn if the if I had tapped correctly. Pretty good. Pretty good. <sighs> See you later, goalie. Guess we just have to settle for 14 damage. Darn. Prison Realm. Alright. Didn't take the Trampler. We played a little pokey this morning. Spark Harvest or something? Yeah. Well, I hope they don't make me discard a card. Because I'm just dumping. Goodbye, Kinnon. So we're going to eat the Prison Realm, and I guess we can just eat the Baffling End since they don't really have anything else. Make ourselves a nice little 3 3. Doo -doo 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 -doo. That's fine. Last card Thought Erasure. Concede. Oh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Again, one short. From 0 power to 18 power on the board. Thank you. We don't talk about Brett. We do not talk about Brett. Oh, I might have been able... You're right. I might have had Lethal just finaleing for the boar from the graveyard. Oh, we won the die roll! This is Phantom, yeah. I could Temple of Mystery turn one just to try to find one of my two drops, but that seems a little bit greedy. Trying to just get there. Blue green. Actually, if I grow from the ashes this turn, we can uh, wake next turn. Uh oh. So, turn four, wake, turn five, Ulamog, if nothing goes wrong. No! Rip. 
They're just gonna have like essence scatter or night pack ambusher or something. Yeah. I think we just need the goalie here. Oh, just take one, that's good. One damage, fine. Yeah. Um... All right, I mean, attack for one and pass with no plays It's kind of nice. <laughs> oh, the pierce! <sighs> I guess I could have just activated the Golos. Good old spell Pierce Brosnan wins again. I mean... They're holding up the, t the Storm Tamer. This is not going to be easy. Fortunately, I'm not dead in two hits from the Krasis, but... It doesn't matter. They're going to target... They're going to sacrifice it anyways. I could have targeted, like, my own... Well, okay, maybe not my own creatures, but... <sighs> We're gonna count on Golos. It's it's more correct to target, like, Krasis and Cutthroat, sure, but in the end, the result is the same. They have a lot of cards in their hand still. Now, if they cast, they can they can actually cast one card on my turn, and then go to twenty, uh, one, and then one. Yo, Bakaichi Day! That was a smart play. Play out the Sailor on their turn. They have lethal, and now uh, now they don't overdraw. Okay, so we don't want that. All right, let's roll the dice. Did I punt here? I might have actually punted there by not uh, untapping the... Yeah, I punted by not doing... Untapping this and being able to potentially activate... Oh no, I wouldn't have the colors. All right. They're not going to have Settle in their deck off of two Taff lands. They just need like a Bounce spell and I lose though.
Yo, smock skin, thank you the six months. I don't have the colors, no. I only have three, sorry, four different colors available right now. All right, we got him. I think we got him. Yeah, buddy! Ugh. Come on, win the die roll, turn two ramp. We did win their die roll. We did not have turn two ramp, though. Let's see if we can find it here. Ooh. No, don't need that. We have a surveyor on three. It doesn't ramp, but it's fine. It's good enough. Final boss! Hello! Nice. Thank you. One more green here. No plays. I can dig that. What did you keep? All right, well, I guess this game is over. Hey, that's not very nice. Little Cura Lotus Field action, don't mind if I do. Oh, I'm sorry, but Kaichi Day with a new sub! Scammer! <laughs> Hello, friend. Not a bad turn. Not a bad turn. All right, we had some we had some close games there. That game wasn't very close, but that deck was felt good. Some of our opponents punted. Was a good nice fun one though.